All right. Good morning, afternoon, wherever you're working out. <clears throat> Got a little uh, TRX workout for you. Um, so, if you don't have one of these, um, they're about 100 bucks, 125 bucks on Amazon. Um, really good if you don't have a lot of space and if you don't want to um, you know, uh, buy a bunch of dumbbells. Okay. Um, so, a couple things here is uh, I have it on an X mount. Okay. So, this is drilled into a beam or a stud. Okay. Uh, you can take the foot up here. Okay. Um, another option too is if you get this, it'll come with a door anchor. You can throw it on the other side of the door here. Close the door, and then now you hear yourself an anchor. <clears throat> if you're watching this and you don't have one, I really suggest uh, or highly suggest getting one. Um, really simple to use, really easy to scale. Um, you know, you can do a lot with it. Um, for this video, um, we're just going to focus on kind of the upper body. Okay, so um, you can do full body, you can do lower body. Um, this one, I'm just going to focus on the upper body. Um, I know a lot of us do get a lot of leg work in with running. Um, you know, if you're if you're taking classes or you're doing on, online videos, uh, you are definitely getting a lot of uh, leg work out of it. So what we're going to do uh, is... <coughs> Gonna go through probably about five exercises in a circuit. Okay, probably do about two different circuits. Okay, um, we'll go through probably about three times. Um, and what I may show you is a uh, uh, a different exercise for each. Right. So instead of doing the same exercise three times, you can kind of mix it up a little bit. Um, completely up to you. Just gonna kind of give you some more options. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is start off with just kind of a basic warm up. Okay, you never kind of want to get right into it. It's always good, especially if you're doing this in the morning, if you're just waking up or you've been sitting all day. Just kind of get the arms going a little bit. No doing some kind of body elbows here. So we start short legs together. Some abduction. Some small slides. Warm up the chest a little bit. Give me a few push ups here. Good. Feel light. Stretch the triceps. Again, we're just going to focus on our upper body today. Okay. And so this workout probably be about 20, 30 minutes. Okay, so a little quicker. So what you can do is you can combine multiple workouts. You want to do a lower body and then an upper body. Um, I will do a video on a full body workout as well, so um, stay tuned for that. So, okay, we're going to get started here. Again, upper body, okay? So, a couple things with the TRX really quickly. Um, most of you have used this before, but for those of you that haven't, um, always want to make sure there's max tension in the TRX, okay? You never want it to go limp like that. You always want to keep it nice and taut, okay? Back's always flat, okay, you never want to stick your butt out like this, your back's always going to be flat, okay, and to make it harder, move your feet forward, get lower to the ground, easier, upright, okay. So first set, okay, we're going to kind of warm up a little bit, so aim for about 10 to 12 repetitions, okay, um, and you know, start, start a little easy, and then as you get warmed up, you can make it a little harder. So first things first, we're going to do a basic low row, okay, so Back is flat, chest is up, okay, head is up. We're not bringing our head forward, okay? Keep our chest up just like this. Nice and slow. You'll notice I'm maybe making a slight adjustment, moving my feet forward if I want to. So externally rotating my arm slightly and I sink a little deeper into my chest. All right, so we're gonna do that. And now we're doing a chest. Chest press here. Okay. So we're coming down, straps up here, coming down about 90 degrees. Okay. 
Sit down here. Okay, so now we're going to work on vertical pulling. It's going to be kind of like a pull up. Okay, so we're sitting down here. Okay, and then we're pulling up. Okay. If you need to uh, adjust the straps to make it a little shorter, you can. This is just for the sake of time. Three, and then we're gonna go and do some hugs. Okay, so hugs using our chest, using our arms here. Okay, kind of see me. Okay, you want to kind of bring your hand touching opposite shoulder. So we're gonna start with bigger muscles, and then we'll do arms at the end. Good. Shake it out a little bit if you need to. So what we're gonna do is we'll go through this, we'll go through it twice. Um, and then if you feel that you want to go through it a third time, you could pause the video and then go through the four exercises again. Okay. All right, so we're back to the top here. Okay, we're gonna go low row again. Okay, so Chest out, really squeezing those shoulder blades, okay? Keeping your head up, not using your neck, arm, or. Wrists are straight. Get a good squeeze, hold for a second. Nine, ten, seven. All right, chest press. Try to go nice and slow. You shouldn't be in a rush. Here we go. All right, back into pull-ups again, if you need to adjust, you know, you kind of get a little pull here. It should probably be a little higher, but this is fine. Sitting down here, a torso, making your torso pretty vertical. Straight ahead, using our lats. So really important, important anytime you're doing any pulling motions with the TRX, okay? you want to always make sure your chin's neutral, okay? I know we kind of have a habit of rounding our shoulders, bringing our head forward, okay? But really, just keep the chin up. You should relax this area, okay? All right. Hugs. And good. All right. So it's one circuit, pretty basic, four exercises, okay? If you want, if you want to do that a third time, okay? You can pause the video again and then go through it a third time. You have 
Low row, chest press pull-ups, and then hugs, okay? For those of you that want to keep going, okay, maybe you get a sip of water if you need to. Uh, we're going to do another set, okay, of a different circuit, about four to five different exercises, okay? Um, first things first, we're going to do what are called teases, okay? So what the tease is, if you want to keep your arms straight, okay? Arms straight, chin up. So the goal here is to really work on squeezing the shoulder blades together. So a little harder. So maybe you start a little more upright. Notice how my arms are down here, they're not up here, okay? Again, we don't want to use a lot of our upper traps, okay? Focus on lower to mid part of our shoulder blades, okay? You start to feel it in your tricep a little bit, okay? It means you're bending your elbows, okay? You don't want to keep them bent. If you are, that means you're compensating, so stand a little more upright, okay? Next, we're going to do wall slides. Okay, so this is a really good mobility exercise, okay? We're going to keep your uh, one foot in front of the other here, okay? You can see me on the side. What we're doing is you want to keep your forearms and your uh, torso on the same plane here, okay? So your chest is up, your head is up. You're gently pushing on the TRX and going up and down, okay? So this is a lifesaver for your posture. So you can do it this way, then I'll show you another way you can use it. About 20, 25 of these, feel it in between your shoulders. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw in, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, throw in a couple core exercises, okay? So what we're gonna do here, feet together like this, arms are straight. You're just going to kind of come forward a little bit. So it's a, a light stretch in your core. Okay, be careful not to hyperextend. You don't want to feel a lot in your back. You might feel a teeny bit. But what we want to do is, it's like you're waking up and stretching out your abs, okay? Good. That'll kind of give our arms a little break. Okay. Speaking of arms, that's what we're doing. Okay, so tricep extension. So one foot in front of the other here, okay? Bend, um, you wanna get your, bend your arms here, get your elbow back, okay? And then we're pressing. Right over here, elbow back, and then we're pressing. So here we go. So you want to make sure that your hands are going all the way back so you're getting the entire tricep there. All right, bicep curls. Chest up, feet forward, okay? Elbows up, okay? Pulling the straps toward your forehead, okay? Again, very important. Keep the chin up, okay? The wrist straight, okay? You don't be curling your wrist, okay? Keep your wrist relaxed. And good. All right, 
now we're just going to do a little shoulders here. Okay. So what we're going to do with this is arms are straight. Okay. We're going to do a W and then turn it into a little wall spot. Okay. A W into a wall spot. So um, two moves in one. Okay. But what we're doing is we'll really work in this kind of rear delt area. Okay. So we'll start arms straight here. Okay. We're going to do a W. Okay, so let's squeeze our shoulder blades together. Just gonna to come up a teeny bit and back down. Okay, up. Okay, I'm gonna show you another kind of derivation of this. For the next set. The wall slides too much. Okay, you can just focus on doing the Ws. So although we are squeezing our shoulder blades together, okay, we are really working on that. Rear delt. And all right. So again, shake it out if you need to, grab a sip of water. The beauty of this is you can just kind of flow through it, okay? It takes very little time. I mean, <clears throat> even if you're sore or tired or you're having a having a rough day, I mean, you could do this, spend 20 minutes, kind of clear your head, you know, get your muscles feeling tight. <coughs> All right, here we go. So we're doing T's first, okay? Arms straight, out long. So before our palms are facing away, okay, now what I want you to do is put your wrists kind of where the straps are, okay, and then we're going to kind of go up and down like this. So feet here, elbows here, up and down. So it's a gentle push, not forcing anything. You're moving from your shoulder blades, okay, you're not really pressing with your shoulder, if that makes sense. You feel this in between your shoulder blades, okay, that means you're doing it right. Again, freedom of movement, okay? You should be easily going up and down, okay? Sound like you're sliding your forearms up and down the wall. Again, this is amazing for your shoulder, posture, neck, okay? For so you need to kind of have neck upper trap issues, this is a great one. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right. A little core here, just to kind of give our arms a break. You can also do planks. This is a little funky. Good. All right. Here we go. Triceps. Uh, if it's too much with both your feet pointing forward, and this goes for any exercise, you can always flip one foot in front of the other. I'm in my garage, so this is this is a little slippery sometimes. So just for balance sake, you know, one foot in front of the other is also an option. Okay. All right, so we did the W's to wall slides. I'm just going to show you two other ones you can do. Okay. 
So one for the shoulder and another one for the lats and the triceps, okay? So again, you can go through this three times, okay? If you wonder, you can stop it too, okay? So what we're gonna do here, okay? This is gonna be a row to an external rotation, okay? So option one would be to do the move, the, the full movement, okay? You're rowing to 90 degrees, okay, looking straight ahead, and then you're externally rotating here. Okay, rotator cuff, okay? Again, really good for shoulder and neck issues you may have, okay? So we're rowing just to 90 and then coming up, okay? So that's gonna be option one. Option two would just be to stay pinned, keep your elbows pinned to your rib cage, and then just going out like this, okay? So it's a small movement. You're only going 45 degrees, okay? You're really working on that back of the shoulder, okay? This is not an exercise that you want to go all the way down here in the ropes, and then you're going to get stuck. Okay? You just stay pretty uh, upright. Just kind of ease into it, okay? Your option here, okay? However you want to do it. And keep the chin up, right? And then... Um, Um, sore as pull, okay? So this one, tricep, we're gonna work your lats a little bit, okay? So you can add this, you can, you know, replace one of the rows with this one if you want, okay? Arms are straight, and then we're gonna pull straight down. So chin is up, chest is up. There we go. Again, wrists are straight, okay? We're not, we're not Flexing our wrists like this, okay? We're not bringing our head forward, okay? Everything should be flat. And all right. So, again, um, that's the end of the second circuit, okay? We just went through it twice. If you want to go through a third time, Okay, and you want to do, maybe you do the swimmer's pull. Um, you do extra rotation if you want, okay? Got the wall slides, right? And got some T's. So anytime you're, you're kind of programming, if you're kind of deciding what to do with, you know, an upper body or a lower body, that type of thing, um, I would always try and do all range of motion, okay, and try and change your hand position. So if you're doing a row, you know, maybe you do rows here, and if you want, doing rows up here, okay. Um, doing chest press is good, doing the hugs, you can throw in push ups as well. Um, I'd save doing your arms till the end, okay. Um, <clears throat> one of the things is uh, you're always going to want to do more pulling than pushing. So that means more rowing or this, okay, than benching, okay, or, or, or chest, okay. Uh, same thing goes with our legs, okay. You're going to always want to do more pulling with your hips, okay, than you are pushing as in squatting, okay. So that's uh, probably about 20 minutes. Um, you can kind of blow through that again. You can do it two or three uh, times through. Um, and then we're going to be doing other videos as well that we focus on specific body parts. So if you want to combine two videos, you can do that as well. So an upper body and a lower body, that's your workout. Um, I'm also going to have a, a couple full body workouts that incorporate everything. So hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions or you want to see anything different, um, you can email fitness.center or you can email me directly. All right, see ya.